The Boys, Season 3, Episode 7, title, Here Comes a Candle to Light You Bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of the Black Abstract if you're new to my channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and the notification bell, and all that good stuff. So, wow! Before we get started, let me give you a warning. There are spoilers ahead. I don't want to hear none of that. Oh, you're spoiling it for us. What are you doing? I mean, listen, spoilers. Look at the title of the video. You sure already know it's going to be spoilers. Soldier Boy is Homelander's father. Let me say it again. Soldier Boy is Homelander's father. That's his pappy. So now it's a plot twist. Notice he didn't tell Busher what he learned. So we thought Homelander was about to get killed by Soldier Boy. And it comes to find out they might get team up. And they might kill Butcher and Huey. Obviously, they might not die. They're the main characters. But I don't know. I think we're going to get it. I heard a rumor that it's going to be a big death this season. We're going to figure out who it is. Um, Listen, whenever they keep topping themselves each episode, there's no way in a season three a show could still be this good. And... I was watching the same thing with Umbrella Academy. I'm like, yo, this season of Umbrella Academy is way better than last season. This is, I'm like, yo, how do they keep topping it? These writers are doing a good job, man. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is this is a, a, a dope ass episode, man. I was I was like into it all the way. And if listen, if you want to know what episode relates to this episode three, when uh when the um uh the person that's taking care of soldier boy's son goes back in time and tells that story about uh what happened the day soldier boy got taken that was episode three because i had to go back and i remember but now it's more context to it because black noir uh kind of gave us context and i like how they did it in cartoon form because obviously it's, it's easier to probably do uh and we explain his reasonings for why he's hiding Soldier Boy was beating the shit out of this dude. He was abusing his whole team. But more specifically, Black Noir. And he so he's petrified of Soldier Boy. And then we learned that Stan Edgar is the one who actually came up with the plot and the plan to get rid of Soldier Boy and then usher in Homelander because he already had a replacement for him. So they just had to sit the trap to kind of get Soldier Boy out of there. And they barely got him done. Uh the guy with the mind control abilities. Who I didn't even know about to, uh, I guess because they, they kind of glossed over him. But this episode was about them finding him. And uh, I'm like, okay, that's a, that's a dope ass uh, power he had. He had the, the Professor Xavier type power. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, good ass episode, man. <laughs> so good. But yeah, this relates to uh, episode three. And we, we saw her point of view of what was going on. We didn't know exactly what was going on. you remember noir had a, the, half his head chopped off damn near chopped off his, his face was all burnt and we thought that happened maybe from the russians no that was from soldier boy when they attacked soldier boy you remember all the superheroes were crying and they were all down and trying to figure it out because they all hatched a plan that we all had knew that plan already but they plashed hatched this plan to get rid of soldier boy because they just didn't like him he was just uh he was just a uh an asshole he was abusing people uh, just talking shit about people, and he just wasn't a good person. Uh, we also got a backstory about uh, Butcher, which is what I'm glad. This, that was kind of like one of the parts I was very, very uh, most happy to see because we got a little bit last season, but we got full-on backstory what happened. Uh, we learned his brother took his life, and we know uh, exactly why the extent of the abuse he was getting from his father and um, we see why Butcher is the way he is. He's just like his dad. He's exactly like his dad. He drinks. He has a temper. He likes to beat up people. Uh, and that's how his dad was. And that's how his dad raised him to be. So I love that we got that uh, that backstory. It show how powerful the villain they were dealing with because he had ability to put people in this this coma. And uh, Soldier Boy is like, listen, he's done for. And he we uh, made sure he went to lymphs to save his boy. Um, against Soldier Boy's wishes, uh, but then we found out that bombshell at the end that Homelander <laughs> is the son of Soldier Boy. So I think Homelander used that to his advantage to get close, and I think he'll probably try to end up killing Soldier Boy. But 
It's, it ain't going to be easy. So we'll see what happens. And as much as I hate Homelander, I think I might hate Soldier Boy. And I hate to say hate. That's a strong word. But as much as I dislike Homelander, I dislike Soldier Boy probably equally, if not more. Actually, I, I ain't going to lie. I kind of like I like Soldier Boy. I do like Soldier Boy, dude. Because as, as ruthless as Bo uh, we thought Butcher was, Soldier Boy is like that times 20. He just don't give two fucks about nothing. He's rude. If you got Butcher looking at you sideways, like, yo, something wrong with you, something wrong with you, because Butcher is, woohoo. Uh, <laughs> but all in all, listen, this episode was great. Um, we finally got to see where May was. She's locked up in some facil uh, facility. And I like the visit that Homelander pays her in May. No one Soldier Boy can see the fear in his heart. And he's petrified of Soldier Boy. He's terrified. Uh, because so, uh, Homelander probably never been abused up like that. You know, um, like I said, last episode was great. We got that great fight scene at the end, but this episode to me topped that because you got some insight to Butcher. You got some insight to, uh, why Soldier Boy was set up. Like we keep getting more and more pieces to this puzzle. Um, so I'm all in with this. <laughs> I'm love it. Uh, we see that Starlight when it got more V. Uh, well, she went and got the real V um, for um, for old girl uh, to because she wants she wants her healing powers back, and I was just like, uh, Ki Ki I don't know how to pronounce it, Ki Kimiko Kimiko, uh, but she went and got some V for her, and I was just like, yo, how she just walk up in there and nothing happened? But then they, we see that confrontation with uh, a Homelander. Homelander's like, yeah, this is what you're gonna do, blah blah blah. And I come to find out she was filming it. We don't know if she was really filming it because we didn't see any backlash or anything that happens from it. All right, but it's funny what they're trying to do with the whole uh, parallels to kind of like um, uh, conservatives and whatnot and fake news. Like Homelander is supposed to be, uh, I guess, reminiscent of Trump per se um, with the rhetoric he's spitting about Star uh, Starlight. Uh, he's at a, a, a rally. Uh, and he's not even like president, but he's at a rally for the next president. And he's he's spilling on about Starlight because she exposed everything in the last episode. And he's talking about, uh, he's just going on a tangent. Uh, but they're making up saying she's, you know, it's just the same way the, the conservatives do the Democrats. Oh, they, they're, they're, they're running sex rings and, and, and people... Start believing this shit now. It's, it's something you don't know what to believe because it's weird shit out there in the universe. But it just show you to how people are easily to believe people if they just truly like them that much. And uh, we see uh, MM uh, has his daughter there with the stepdad. And I'm thinking the first one I saw him, I said, Yo, why would he bring his this man's daughter to the rally? This one, Yo, if you believe in that, that's fine. That's on you. Don't bring the man daughter. And I knew that was going to come back to bite him. And sure enough, uh, he sees the picture. He posted on Instagram and he goes to confront him. And she's like, yo, why would you do that? And he's like, yo, Soldier Boy is looking for him. Why would you do that? Put on her way. Uh, Soldier Boy doesn't really exist. It's a lie. Starlight, blah, blah, blah. It, and, and Milk can't tell him. Like, listen, I'm working closely with Starlight. And I've seen Soldier Boy close up. I know he can't say this because, first of all, you might not believe him. But then he can't really blow what he got going on. Uh, but he's just like, listen, man, what you want? He said the same thing. Hey, what you want to do is on you. Just leave my daughter out of it. And he's like, he had to say something slick about it. And Milk just gave it to him. And I pfft, I can't blame him. He, did, he had it coming. I ain't even going to lie because he was out of pocket. He was out of bounds. He had no right to take her to that rally. And then he had no right saying that. Um, it's dangerous out here, what's going on. And obviously, I don't understand you support or like the Homelander, but lead a kid out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, is, why would you bring her to that? It just don't make sense. Um, aside from that, when uh, Butcher was going through his phase, uh, the situation in his mind, and he was seeing everything, um, <laughs> I like when Huey rescued the guy. Uh, mind manipulator, whatever his name is, and he's like, "Yo, can you wake my friend up?" He's like, "No, I went inside his mind. He's a piece of shit." <laughs> like, yo, like, no, nah, just you. He don't even need to be here. He's. I just been inside his mind. He all fucked up. 
And we see in his mind why he's fucked up. And he feels guilty for the death of his brother uh, taking his own life because he kind of just left him there to kind of fend for himself when he know he wasn't built like that. Um, so it was, it was like it was nice to see that humility in Butcher. We don't see that too often from him. And then we find out that he really cares about Huey because his name gets brought up and he's like, yo, you're going to let him die like everybody else you love, blah, blah, blah. And Huey's name get brought, gets brought up. And um, it was real. Uh, Huey and uh, I like this little dummy mission. Huey and uh, home, um, Soldier Boy are going on. Uh, Huey's so naive to everything. But uh, Soldier Boy is like, listen, I done seen it all, done it all. He just shoots this priest, no hesitation. He's like, I'm telling you, this is such and such doing this. Uh, and he was like, no, I don't believe it. Until the, the nun jumps on his back and bites him. And it's crazy. We also learned that Compound V Temp has side effects which can kill you uh, in five days or five after five doses. And we learned this information at the end. And Starlight tells this to uh, Butcher. And then we think Butcher's going to do the right thing. And, of course, he, the piece of shit that he is, he doesn't tell Huey. And he just, uh, he just diverts and say, yeah, we're going to get more V. And we're going to count. We're going to get these son of a bitches. I'm like, what a fucking piece of shit. Like, did you not learn anything the whole episode? Like, this whole episode was kind of like a redemption for you to kind of just be a better person. And he just doesn't know nothing. Uh, we learned Noir is just tripped out. Uh, when I saw episode three, I knew for a fact that that noir was not this noir. Even that last season, because didn't noir get get blown up or something like that, or something happened to him? I thought he got killed, but he was back again. I gotta watch season two again. Something happened in noir season two, uh, and I thought for sure he was done for. Uh, and then seeing what happened in the past, I'm like, okay, this must be a, a new noir. But I think part of his ability is he has the ability to heal, I'm guessing, because uh, it's the same guy. And uh, for some reason, he doesn't speak. And I'm guessing it's because of that incident. He doesn't really speak too much or he doesn't speak at all. Uh, but he used to. And we learned that Soldier Boy was slighting him every chance he get. He was supposed to be in Beverly Hills Cop <laughs> or uh, 48 Hour, one of those movies. And he would have been great for it around that time. And Soldier Boy slighted him. And got him out of there. And I'm like, wow, what a piece of shit. And he had, it was no, it was no, it was like, it wasn't like a, a valid reason. It was just out of just pure dickheadedness. He didn't want him to be over him or excel. And uh, when Soldier Boy or when Noir tried to confront him, he just beat him to a pulp. And it was just a bunch of incidents where he just kept on beating up uh, Noir and was and just fucking him up. And I don't think Nor. I think Nor maybe has healing abilities. I'm guessing, and he has like Batman type skills. You know, he's just real stealthy, and you know, he uses gadgets. But I don't think he has no superpowers, if I'm not mistaken. Besides that, uh, we see A Train actually survived, uh, and they took Blue Hawk's heart and put it inside A Train. So I was wondering if they was gonna kill A Train off. They didn't actually redeemed him and gave him a second chance so now he has a new heart and he's going to be able to run again and i don't know i think he's going to try to i may i think he might try to do a, a lando Coran and, and switch sides on us and try to go back and help um uh starlight in them but <laughs> it's funny the damage control and this lets you know how powerful corporations and people with money can do such things such as damage control and people are more likely to believe them than they are the people who are actually telling the truth. Uh, we see her come in the room. Yeah, we're going to do a movie on you. Uh, we're going to do, you know, biopic. We're going to get Tom Hanks to play your coach. And he's like, yo, my coach is my brother. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, so it was all funny. Uh, we see Homelander's losing his shit because he's scared shitless of Soldier Boy. And uh, let me get her name right. Uh, Victoria, Victoria Newman uh, is at the rally that he's at, and she goes in the barn and Soldier Boy's on. I mean, uh, Homelander's on his weird shit again. He's drinking milk. You remember if he was doing that in the first season? Uh, he's drinking milk again. He's milking the cow and just. And she's like, skip breakfast, and uh, <laughs> he gets embarrassed. Uh, she's telling him like, yo, you gotta get your shit together. What's wrong with you? 
admit that Soldier Boy is here out there and you about to get his ass and find him. Uh, and he's like, I'm not doing that because obviously we know he's scared of him. Uh, and so he chokes her up and I thought she was going to pop his head. And um, for some reason, I think if she even tried to, he probably would have snapped her neck. So maybe that was the question. But I'm like, yo, why you just don't pop this nigga head? Like, what's going on here? It was a bunch of little stick. I was just a little, little nitpick moments. I was kind of like, well, she could have popped his head. And then when Starlight left the building, I'm like, well, Homelander could have just followed her. He flies. All he had to do was fly up on the roof and follow her and see where she was going. But, you know, it's TV. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so she gets the other V. It was weird seeing Nora with the cartoon characters. That kind of threw me off. But I guess that's just his way of coping with stuff, uh, his imagination, because he doesn't talk to anybody. So, And it, it was crazy to see him hiding out. He's just, And then you see him making his food. And I'm like, okay, he about to eat. And he doesn't eat anything. So I don't. the man don't eat. It's, it's really a mystery he he is, I'm telling you. Um uh we see that uh we see that um he, he gets uh waking up. Mindstorm wakes Butcher up, uh and right as he wakes him up, Soldier Boy chops and just slices through him and just demolishes him. I'm like, sheesh. Um <laughs> it was good to see Starlight and Maniko, Kaniko, whatever, bonding. Uh, they're hanging out bonding. They got a little sisterhood thing going on. So I thought that was pretty dope this episode. And I was surprised she wanted her powers back, but like she said, uh, her boyfriend is is her family, and she wants to protect her family. And it'll it'll be good seeing her with Butcher and Huey. They all got powers. For some reason, I think Butcher or Huey are going to wind up taking the permanent V. I think that's going to be the only way to kind of uh counteract the temp v is they take the permanent v and they'll have permanent powers and i think that somehow milk or the other guy is going to get powers as well that's just my that's just my assumption i uh, can't believe we almost this close to the end of the season another great season uh another great episode um probably missed some things if i did we could talk about them in the comments i think i covered all of the the great or the uh, important parts but more importantly, we find out that Soldier Boy is Homelander's father. And I'm like, this is good shit right here. Uh, <laughs> post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As always, peace, love, and prosperity on the Black Abstract. Go to PrayForBuffalo.com if you need some shirts. Peace.